So today I'm gonna make me some fried dumplings today. I got um, some flour I'm gonna add to it. So we're gonna put the flour here. Yeah, that's enough right there. Good enough for to make about, I wanna say about six dumplings. I don't have no um, baking powder, so I'm going to do it out. I'm going to add a little salt to this. Just a little bit. Just a tad bit. You know? Okay. I melted a little butter. I'll put it here. I got some milk. I'll put it here. Make the dough nice and slow. Make the dough nice and slow. Treat it with love, don't treat it like a hoe. Yeah, we're gonna make this dough, you know, nice and slow, nice and easy. limit the use of water in this door right here. I'm only going to use water if that little bit of um, warm milk that I got right there is not getting the job done. I'm trying to formulate the dough with the warm, with the um, Trying to formulate the dough with a cup of milk that I got right there. Nice and easy. So it looks like we're gonna have to add a little water in here. Not too much. Oh, snap. I think I add too much water. That's why whenever that happens, always make sure you have save you back some little bit of flour. So we're gonna um go ahead and you got the point. Go ahead and make the dough. We're gonna make the dough and we're gonna get right back with you. right here I got my oil warming up got my dumpling I'm gonna get ready to formulate I'm gonna show you guys how I formulate my dumpling real quick um, you can pretty much do it any size you please so it's basic go like this you just want to shape it in the shape that you want I'm gonna put it to the side for now because I wanna drop all of it in the oil at the same time.
Yep, yep. Got about maybe three more in there. Not doing them too big. Two more, that's it. The reason I do um, fried dumpling, I do them so small because it's easier to cook, to fry them. Less time in the frying oil. And um, you're sure that both sides of the dumpling is cooked. The bigger it is, the harder it is for it to um, fry. So we're gonna slap this in the oil right now. Yes, sir. Can y'all see that? Nice and lovely frying in the oil right now. So, we're going to fry that nice and lovely for about, till it get nice and little nice golden brown on the, uh, on each side. I don't know why I'm talking to y'all like a DJ right now, but we're going to get that nice and lovely, okay? So, we're going to get this about, um, say about... 10 to 2 minutes or 2 2 minutes to 2 hours now we're going to get this about um, i say about 2, two and a half minutes to fry and then we're going to check it and see if we need to flip it so I'm going to I'm going I'm to I'm keep, keep the camera going on the whole frying process so you guys can see the whole process you know what I'm saying? So, um, we got four people in the house. We got nine dumplings. I'm going to eat nine dumplings. And, um, uh, I don't know what everybody is going to eat. That ain't my business. Yup, yup. And I'm having this with some, um, leftover curry chicken from what I cooked yesterday. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the microwave. Yes, sir. Uh, let me go ahead and check it. Uh, nice and brown. Go ahead and turn the stove down a little bit, but I want it to really soak up in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's looking nice and lovely. Nice and lovely. Look at that. Look at that. Let me go ahead and finish flipping this. Nice and lovely. It's cooking nice and lovely. Nice and lovely. I sound like I got a um. I sound like I could do a morning talk show, right? Nice and lovely with RNC TV in the morning. You wake up with your boy RNC TV, cooking some dumpling for you. Nice and lovely in the morning. How that sound? You say no, keep my day job. Cooking up the dumpling, nice and lovely. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that, people! And I didn't have no 
baking powder. So that's the reason you see me add the butter and the milk is to try to get that fluff in the middle as you would get with some baking powder. You gotta, to understand, you gotta be a cooker and not just a looker. And please don't be a hooker. Well, I mean, you can be what you wanna be. You know, you don't bother me. I ain't mean, but gonna flip it one more time, let it cook nice and lovely. You see, you see that you notice the oil is um the oil is nice and not too hot. We're not burning the dumpling, so we're giving time for the dumpling. We're giving the fried dumpling enough time to cook. Not only on the outside, but the most important thing is to make sure it's fried on the inside. So you got a lot of people they give you fried dumpling. And the inside of the fried dumpling, no what one damn shit. It's just no fried. Like they want you to die. And touch the damn sky. Why? So we're gonna fry this up nice and lovely. Nice and lovely, we're gonna fry it up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So I know some of y'all. You know, y'all go to the Caribbean restaurant. I'm not gonna say Jamaican because, you know, we got different people trying to do fried dumplings and y'all wonder how they do fried dumplings. Well, this is how you do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. That's how you do fried dumplings, people. Nice and lovely, we're gonna get ready to take this out. You join me with the whole frying process. See how easy that was? See how easy that was? Easy like one, two, three. I'm gonna show you guys these golden, round, natural, lovely, sparkling, tasty, delicious, magnificent, fantastic fried dumplings. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and lovely. Look at that golden brown fried dumpling. What a blood clot dumpling. Look on it. Jesus. Jesus. 